I hope you're having a great week. It's been a busy week here at First Baptist Church as our construction continues. I can hear the sounds right outside my office right now. Uh, the workers out there and the things are happening all over our campus with uh, the construction. And I just want to say thank you uh, to each of you who have been so uh, flexible. We've said that's our word for the year here at First Baptist Church. You've been flexible in new Sunday school spaces and new traffic patterns and where you park and how you come in and out of the building. And, and uh, you've just been fantastic about all of that. And uh, we'll continue to have to make adjustments as the weeks go by. Uh, so uh, please help us with that. And if you see people maybe that are lost, not sure where they're going, you know, ask if you can help out and get them to the right place on Sunday morning. And uh, again, the end result is going to be fantastic in a few months, and so we're excited about that. This coming Sunday, I'm going to conclude our beginning of the year series that we call Invest. Already we've talked about investing in people you know, through relationships. We've talked about investing in our church, and uh, it's taking eight hours a week, or I'm sorry, eight hours a month, two hours a week that you would invest in the life of our church. Last Sunday, we began to talk about our stuff, about our things, money and possessions. And we talked about uh, some principles and dealing with those. This week, we're gonna kinda continue on with what we finished up last week. Last week, we ended by talking about the 10, 10, 80 principle. Giving God 10%, saving 10%, and then living on 80%. We're gonna take that and go further in that this coming Sunday to conclude this series. So I hope you'll be here to be a part of that. It's a big weekend again at First Baptist. Our ladies are having their retreat on Friday night and Saturday out of Camp Copas. And Chanel tells me over 120 ladies have signed up for that. So pray for those ladies. They'll have a great week and grow in their relationship with Christ and their knowledge of Him. Uh, February, uh, all kinds of things happening at First Baptist Church. Our uh, annual Valentine's banquet is uh, scheduled that month. Our Beast Feast. Uh, is that uh, that week, that month as well. And I'm going to begin a, uh, a series that's going to take us all the way through the summer. Uh, for several years now, I've been preaching through the book of Matthew. We just take breaks from it and come back to it. Well, we're going to pick it back up and we're going to finish the book of Matthew uh, over the next uh, seven months or so. So February is going to be a big month, lots of things happening, uh, but we still got some January left. And so I hope to see you this coming Sunday as we worship together, as we finish this series on invest. Now, one other quick thing, uh, this coming Sunday, January 31st at 4 p.m. Uh, in the Worship Center, we're going to have a discussion time uh, to consider an offer that we've been made to uh, sell our 90 acres of land up uh, along to look 288. We've got an offer and uh, we had a group of our finance and per our properties committee meet and they've decided it's worth taking to the church. So on Sunday the 31st, we're gonna present that to you. And then on Sunday, February the 7th, at the same time at four o'clock, we're gonna have a call business meeting and we'll vote that night on whether or not to proceed uh, with the sale of that property. So I hope you can come this Sunday the 31st uh, to hear all about it and then be here on the 7th as well to vote on that and uh, to uh, move into the future with that. So anyway, be praying about that and uh, hope to see you this coming Sunday as we together to worship.